Hello everyone, this is Ryan Thompson with Pyro CMS. Um, I'm starting a new habit in that I'm going to be trying very hard to record more of the work that I do. Um, I want to capture my processes and how I use Pyro to build things as fast as I can, uh, as well as I can, um, and hopefully that will help uh, new developers and, and you know long time Pyro developers alike um, do what they do better. So to get started, I'm going to download and install uh, a new Pyro CMS installation for a medical group that we're doing a website for. Um, starting with the docs, I'm going to use our development branch for 3.7. And I'm going to plop that into a directory named after their domain. And let that install. Uh, these are going to be unscripted videos, like all my stuff is for the most part. Um, so you might hear kids in the background every once in a while. You might hear dogs in the background too. Um, and I'm going to try and explain just a brief overview of the project in the beginning. And then each video is going to be uh, focusing on a stage or feature uh, along those lines within the project. So this, this first one is downloading and installing. Um, I'm also going to be setting up a blank repository. I suppose we could do that now. But I, I want to st I just want to capture everything through all of these projects that I'm doing and start exposing a little bit more of the um, the processes that might be able to help others uh, get started or do things faster. So I'm just going to set up a new GitLab project and we'll use this later. Copy the SSH. Looks like this is almost done installing. There might be areas within these videos that I don't say much. I'm going to try and explain things as I go, but um, might want to watch this on like two by or whatever and skip by these parts. So first thing I want to do is uh, initialize this with our new repository. We now have a, uh, this, is, this is what we just downloaded. So we've got our base pyro installation here. Um, uh, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, um, if I, Uh, we'll do our initial commit. And we'll push this up to our repository and track it. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is run the installer. Um, and I usually do this with the uh, CLI. Actually, one of the other things I'm going to do just before that, because we'll need a database, is open up MAMP, which is being super tricky sometimes. Seems like since I uploaded or updated, it's not been happy. So I'm going to create a new host and a new database as well. Take this off of full screen. No, nope, not that. Sorry for all the jumping around. I copy and paste a lot. Create a database as well. It's going to ask me what to name that. Uh, we want to point the web root at the public directory. Create that database. Go for it. Uh, one of the things I usually do, oh, you know what? This is wrong. This will be my development. I don't want to override the DNS for the domain. I'll enable SSL. Go for it. I usually just put this in the bin locally. And I do this because uh, I end up 
sharing the database sometimes like I'll take the database from the remote and uh, it'll often have settings that force SSL so I might as well get that ready now since I know we're going to be using it I'm just going to save and create that create the database as well Okay, there's our blank database. Now we're going to run the installer. Yes. Oh, uh, you know what? I think that's actually wrong. Uh, yep. Yep. Sure. Uh, da -da. I'll change this later. Let it do its thing. So Composer downloads Pyro, and I've corrected terminology and documentation, but Composer is used to download things, and then you install them once they're downloaded. So that's what we're doing now. And you can do this by visiting uh, your domain too. It'll redirect you to a visual installer, like an installer wizard. I tend to do the CLI method. And after this gets set up, um, I think we will be done for the most part. Oops. Oh, geez. Yes, we know. Yep, so there we are. Log into the admin. Cool. So the next video is going to be um, creating our theme and looking at the build files that we got back from our front end team and determining how we're going to organize those into layouts and start building up our blocks and some demo pages so that I can take this and hand it off to our content team uh, which will work on the remote so we'll we'll get into deployment and stuff um, in the next videos as well thank you see you on the next one